Hello, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here, and right now I'm just kind of filling in spots that I forgot about or neglected or just plain missed during the course of the regular walkthrough. First space to address is this area in the upside down labyrinths. To the right of this first save area here, we can go over here and find what? Magic Missile! Oh, and also a Buffalo Star. Not much, but as you can see, I've also been trying to fill in some of the blank spaces in the map to get the best ending. So we'll just uh, keep on finding stuff. I'll meet you when I find something else. Here's something worth mentioning. The areas right above me on the map... The ones that you that look like they have needs to be filled in. This is something that I've been stressing about for years. Apparently, you just can't fill those in. Leastways, not on the version of the game that I have. I don't know if maybe they fixed it in later releases or what, but these are just spots of the map that for some reason don't have an outline on them. Not sure why. Okay, here we are somewhere. Now, I mentioned earlier that this enemy, the Dodo, would drop a really neat sword. But, he drops two actually really rare items, and I thought that since I got the other one first, I should show it off. It is the Heart Brooch. It reduces heart consumption. You can throw out things that use up hearts all day in, well, half a day. Whereas before you could throw them out for a quarter of a day. So anyway, that's that's uh, that's the other item that he drops. I'll pick it back up when he drops the sword I was talking about. And I got it. Now, why is this weapon so cool? I'll show you. First of all, it's only a couple of points uh, worse than the Alley card sword, which is good to begin with, but it just tears the hell out of everything in its path. It covers the entire screen in an arc, and that's great. Plus it says Verboten as it flies, which I'm assured by German experts means forbidden. So yeah, if you kill the Dodos enough, you'll get a kick-ass flying sword. And everyone loves having a kick-ass flying sword. Well, I mean an additional one. We already had the sword familiar, but that's neither here nor there. So, let's move on. Here's another area I forgot to show off before. It comes, uh, before you fight the boss of the Necromancy Laboratory, to this space here to the left. I didn't go through here during the playthrough. So let's see what we got. A brass globe featuring a life max up, which would have been super useful at the time. So that's right there on the map if you want to go grab that too. Here's another area I seem to have forgotten. Right here. Right near where I first came in to the Upside Down Castle. It has a library card, which would have been useful had that been somewhere that I cared to go back to from the beginning. Here are some more things I missed before. Right here, on the Upside Down Outer Wall area, we find some potions and a sword. It's the Luminous Sword. What does the Luminous Sword do? Admittedly not much, but it might have been better than what we had at the time. So, uh, maybe that's something you ought to pick up if you're just now going through this area. Moving right along. Another couple of things in the exact same area just above where I was. Karma Coin. And a Magic Missile! We're finding a lot of those today, let me tell you.
more magic missiles than a 15th level wizard. The sad thing is, I know exactly what that means and how many magic missiles a 15th level wizard has. I'm a nerd, sue me. Alright, we're back again. Now, see that flying head called the Shmoo? I mentioned earlier that it drops the best sword in the game, and I just got it to drop one. And you'll notice that it's even less of an attack power than what I had, but let me show you why it's the best weapon. Look at this. You can use it while you're moving without restriction and it hits the enemy five or six times per swipe. Continually using, you will tear the hell out of anything that gets in your path. This weapon just can't be beaten. This makes pretty much every boss in the game your bitch. Especially if you get it as soon as you can get here, which is pretty early in the Reverse Castle. I mean, look at this. Nothing stands in my way here. Oh yeah, and the uh, flying heads also drop ramen noodles. Which is cool. I do also enjoy ramen noodles. Just nothing standing in my path at all. It even has a huge arc to it. So, if you want the rest of the game to be no challenge whatsoever, go ahead and grab this as soon as you can. And destroy all enemies that dare to oppose you. Alright, the lions I've been fighting, they dropped another neat weapon. The Fist of Tolkis. Another, uh, another Tolkienian reference. You know what the cool thing about this is? Aside from that it's a fairly quick weapon, you've got the best of both worlds. You hit left-right attack, and you throw out a ridiculous amount of attacks in a short area and period of time. I'll, if I can get up here without getting eaten alive by jackanass bones, I'll show you what I mean. Trust me, it's good. Well, this is a bad example of how it works, but... I could have sworn these guys, this uh, thing threw fireballs too, but... Oh well. Must have been thinking of something else. Anyway, this is another kind of neat weapon that you can use. For just demolishing asses earlier in the Upside Down Castle. And since we're here, let me do a couple of run-throughs and see if I can get this other thing to drop real quick. Can't believe it's not shooting fireballs. I could have sworn this thing shot fireballs. Gauntlets are good, but that raises your strength. Anyway, the last item I wanted to mention... Let me just get my Chrysagrum back on here, throw out a luck potion, is these guys drop an item called the Ring of Varda, which is the best accessory in the game, hands down. If you get two of them, even better. I've only got a little bit more time here, so let's see if I can get one of these guys to drop one out for me. You'll notice I'm using luck potions to increase my odds. <laughs> the earliest you can find the uh, Ring of Varda being dropped by these guys is in the uh, Colosseum in the not upside down castle. 
They're pretty rare though, so it takes quite a while for them to drop. Look at what a great job this Chrysagrum does of demolishing asses. Well, it looks like we're just getting gauntlets for now, so that's enough for this. Until next time, this is Rosser. Take a drink.